Okay, well, good morning. It is uh, five minutes to six, Sunday the 8th of March, 2020. You can see the red blinking light on my face. It's because it's still dark out. Uh, I'm using this uh, street light to film by. Today is the uh, Cape Town Cycle Tour, what used to be known as the Cape Argus. And I have uh, Darth, my Brompton, uh, all packed and ready to go. I took my Brooks saddle off yesterday and put the Brompton saddle back on. I've got my bike cover here to put my water in. Uh, a little bag up at the top for a few snacks. SPD pedals. Uh, of course I have my university tie, uh, as a gentleman should. And uh, I'm off to the start. Start at 8am and uh, hoping for about uh, somewhere between four and a half and five and a half hours riding with a friend so uh, whoever is the slowest will stick at that pace so let's see we'll catch up uh, a little bit closer to the race here we go <laughs> First fast downhills and uh, we should be seeing some of the lead riders coming through while we're heading into the city so we'll keep an eye open for that. <laughs> of course on my left here is uh, Table Mountain, Lion's Head I think this side is, or Devil's Peak I can't remember and uh, wow look at that beautiful sunrise in the back there, I don't know if you can see that. Of course on that side, uh, that's where the riders are and uh, you can see they've demarcated the road. Yep, there come some of the faster front riders. These are, are not the pros, these are uh, amateur riders but uh, fast ones nonetheless. And over into the harbour. Always nervous by the time I get here. Nervous. There's a big bunch leading out. Tandems. My mate Lyle must be in that bunch. Yeah, I used to start at more or less this time. Uh, I think the earliest I started was about 10 past 6 in the morning. But uh, I'm older now. That's <laughs> one of the reasons I no longer race. Uh, I just poodle along on my folding bike, you know. So, okay. Let's get parked, get the bike out, and uh, get ready to, uh, to ride. There's a big bunch. <laughs> That'll be me in an hour and a half. For a sunrise. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. So, in the city, that's uh, Table Mountain back there. That's uh, Darth the Brompton right there. The start is more or less that way and uh, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> As you can see around us, there are a few fun riders. These folks take it seriously. They have large wheels and lots of gears. Uh, all, all you need is, 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 is a bicycle, man, and a, and a tie, and then you're ready to go. We're ready. Check we're at the front of the bunch. Because we're going to attack, attack from the start, set the pace. Come on. <laughs> There's our linky. We've just uh, we've just started. Uh, it's downhill all the way. Uh, small wheels around the coast, eh? No problem. Uh, it's Charlene, why is it that our whole group's passing us? I don't know. I don't know. It might be the wheel size. Hey, thanks, man. 
Okay, don't worry, we'll catch them on the single track. So uh, here we are on the blue route. And uh, yeah, there are a few bikes passing us. <laughs> but uh, we'll catch them on, uh, on the downhill or on the uphill or we'll catch them somewhere. How's it going, Charlene? Yeah, quite too, Papa. Having a good ride. We are flying. You oaks are slow, man. Come on. <laughs> Those oaks have got far too many gears and their wheels are too big. So this has to be one of the most iconic parts of the ride. Cork Bay, Pishuk. Round to Simonstown, always a bit windy. I'm sure you can hear the wind noise. But uh, absolutely stunning. Nice one. So, uh, this is us at the water table here. I think I'm no more than maybe 10, 15 minutes behind the lead bunch. So, if I have a coke, guys, what do you say? Yeah, if I attack it. now, can I win it? Yes. yes win. Okay, so there you have it from uh, from the experts in the race here. So uh, I'm going to attack up the hill here and then let's see if I can win it. Uh, guys, which one of these has the EPO in it? That one, okay. I've had one of those, so this is this is the, the winner of the race. Charlene, we are now on about 80 kilometers. In fact, there's the sign. 32 to go. How are you feeling? Ready for the climb? Listen, if we attack now, we can win it. I think so too. So let's buckle down. Let's buckle down. Attack, attack, attack. This is where we win it. Jump is for nothing. This is where we win it. So uh, here we are on uh, Klein Chappies, little Chappies. And uh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad ride so far. Look, these folks who are passing us are all on e-bikes, as you can see. Yeah, easy bikes. <laughs> Amazing bikes. Listen, this oak, check, check the size of those wheels. How many gears have you got there? But a lot more than that little bike. No man, no man, no man. doing well. Okay, listen. Up, well done. No food for a lazy man. Rian, keep going. How's it? How's it? Why are you on the bike? What's, what's the story hey, behind that? Men, men. Traveling. No, yeah, no, every year. This is the most iconic part of the ride. Chapman's Peak proper. This uh, separates the young people from the old people, eh? A little bit of pedaling on these hills. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Okay, not sure how much wind noise there'll be. But uh, Charlene, we made it! Yeah, Over the top of Chappies, eh? And we passed all the walkers. We told them next year less spending, more training. Here we go. The other side of Chapman's Peak. Next obstacle, Seikabosi. There we are. Our Fold bikes, the Brom Brompton bikes, the jacket and tie, that gentleman, fantastic. This is the heart and soul of the event. Top of Seika Boisi, and we're getting a bit of rain. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Your bike is stunning. Thank you! <laughs> So, uh, of course, that's the one thing you can never predict is the cape of the weather. And riding into the wind with the clouds up there. The sea's a bit stormy.
always fun. So by the time you get here, along the promenade, you know the race is done. So it's been absolutely stunning. The weather's been good. The weather's been bad. But uh, nothing to complain about. So less than two kilometers to go. Finish uh, just near the, uh, the 2010 uh, football stadium in Cape Town. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling strong. So we'll catch you at the end. Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign that has really taken off incredibly. Robinson Ryder and his tie, nice work. Well done, sir. So uh, that's it. That's a wrap. 2020 20, oh, done, eh? Yeah. Charlene and I came first and second in our class. Brompton individual. Brompton individual class. <laughs> uh, she was the first lady across oh, the line. And I was the first gentleman across the line. So 5.59 according to Strava. And uh, it was a lovely day in the office, you know. So yeah. That's it. Cape Town Cycle Tour 2020 done. Done. Now those painful last two kilometers to the car, fold it and ri and drive home. Yeah, no riding, driving up. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out at Digital Dion on Instagram and Twitter. Dion Foster on YouTube. And uh, yeah, you can see other videos about my. Bromptons and cycling and all sorts of things, but thanks for watching.